It's Sunday, December 7th, time for another video blog, and here you can see the first of the new things. We have pavement. Yes, indeedy. Probably because they paved the street, the driveway of the house next door, and wanted to get them both done at the same time. The other new thing is our utility pole now has stuff connected to it. Last week they came in, did all the trenching work, and ran three conduits through. Now have cables. The cable looks like it's going through the conduit. This is the part of the cable that hooks up to the pole. Conduit trench runs all the way along here and then did this amazing zigzag through the yard because he had to avoid some more ledge. Say hi to your admiring fans. View of the house. The well's been capped over there. And there's now a pipe running from it into the house. View back down the driveway. One of the other things we've worked on is arranging for propane tank. This is the turnaround for the driveway, so we have a garage. You can back out of it, come back over here. 20 feet away from the house, it looks like this is the hole where the propane tank is going to be getting dumped in. And then there will be a pipe running from the house going into that hole in the side and then the gas goes into the house. The electrical generator will probably be going out on the other side. They have the front door opened. So you can we'll be going in the front door this time. Not much has happened on the outside. The siding should be coming up eventually. I will come and take a peek over here. You see the panel where the electricity is going to show up. of the amazing work they've been doing inside. They've got another layer of things over the window, but you can no longer see the garage. All of the insul oh, here comes the dog. All of the insulation that is going to be on the exterior facing walls, the non-heated part of the house has been put in. So the basement here going up. It's going to be a fan box, even though we're not getting a fan in here. It's in the, the basement. You can see uh, cold, so they're insulating this wall. You can see the stairs are now getting insulated. Going down the basement. The second floor. Wiring's been completed in here. plastic stuff. What you're seeing up here is one of the speaker mounts and then they have also black stuff on the ceiling. I don't know. It's some kind of vapor variable, I guess. There you can see the other 
surrounds uh, the other speaker that we're building in, going off to the bathroom. Some work being done up there for where the pendant light is going to be getting hung. More black stuff on the walls up there. And again, one of the last times we'll be able to cut through. Take a look down here, going through the great room and the kitchen. You can now see some of the silver heating stuff, heating duct. Probably through the wall. Do that. And you see here a temporary wall, a temporary thing for people to stand on when they're doing work up in the high part of the ceiling there. More work behind the walls. Doors all covered in plastic. Vapor barrier. Recessed lighting. Window now moved over. Another pipe on the floor. We found out that those white things there, it's for indoor vacuum cleaner, central vacuum cleaner. Not something you want with kids in the house, but when the grandkids aren't around, it'll make it easier to clean up the floors. Lots more vapor barriers and things up here. Going into the office. I'm going to look at the work up there. Big silver pipe. Looks like I'm going to have a big vent in the middle of my room. Don't know, I don't know if that's going to be coming in or out. I'll have to ask. Trish has one as well. speakers for her. Opposite mine. More work done in the bathrooms, windows and things. The crawl space has now been filled in because it's going to be getting insulated because that's an exterior space. Another look at the ceilings from here. So now you're starting to get a sense of what this room is going to be like when the walls are filled in, because you can see that wall is now filled in. One of my regrets is that there's a lot of wasted space under there, but in order to make that a usable attic, you have to do all sorts of expensive double pavement. You can see here these pipes coming down. Oh. You see here a dog peering through. See these the pipes coming down from here and just sort of hanging out and be getting carried over. The other new thing is the electrical work. Not sure if the water pump, the blue thing on the right, and the water heater on the left are there, but here you can see the future center electrical and wiring center. The electrician has got box set up. The middle one is going to be for alarm wires and controls and then a honking huge thing of CAT6 Ethernet cable. The other thing that you're seeing is this black gas line is now in. 
propane gas will be coming in from here, working its way up and going all the way over to the other end of the house. Cutting down this away. And then over here, there's going to be, probably this is where the utility, the power furnace is going to be getting in that area. One of the doing in the walls is punching another gas pipe out and running it over to wherever the generator ends up. Lots of storage space back there, storage space over there. Freezer and refrigerator probably going to be on that wall someplace. Electrician will be running a wire thing on the wall and plugs over to there eventually. So I don't have a interesting view because of all of the plastic on the window, so I'll just close off pointing out the front door and you can say hi to dog. Or not. Too much glare. Here we go. And the dog's coming to say hi. Good boy. Dirty dog.